I had my jazz quartet, quintet, did the jazz projects, and I was doing this arranging thing, which up to this point I just viewed as something on the side just for fun. And then I was also living at the clubhouse, making beats and, and working with rappers and singers and things like that, and kind of in that world. And then was also learning arrangement from Philip Lasseter, like more offici uh, officially. He was like a gospel trumpet arranger. And so I just kind of was like in between all these worlds. The only original things I was doing were my jazz songs and the uh, production things. And so I started to think like, oh, well, how, what would an original orchestra project look like? But up until this point, the thing I thought was, well, the reason that people could connect with these songs is because they're things that they know. Like nobody cares about an orchestra, nobody, it's outdated, da 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 da. But then I started to think about it differently, like, well, I don't know if the orchestra is outdated as much as just the material that they play is outdated. Because there's, they're just, as much as I love Bach, Mozart, Ravel, all of this stuff, it's two, three, four hundred years old. So a lot of people who aren't super fans of music don't have a direct link to this, so it's they don't pay any attention to it. That kind of held me back for a while. And I sat down a couple times and tried to do it, but there was no real, ins ins it wasn't really coming from an authentic place. It was, I was just trying to think of like, what do people want to hear? I think it's the worst place you can come through from when you're trying to create something. Um, and so I kind of, I was just stuck for like 10 years. I would just occasionally do a cover. Maybe somebody would hit me up for an arrangement, but I mean, it was something I was still kind of developing this whole time. And then finally, the pandemic hits, and out of necessity, I'm leaning more into this arranging side of things because there's no gigs, there's no touring, and up until that point, that's how I was making all my money. So I reached out to a couple of friends, and I was like, hey, do you need arrangements? Do you need uh, whatever? I was desperate, just looking for whatever I could, and my friend Spud, said he had a pro this project called Zaftig, which was with Mono Neon, Spud, Xavier, uh, Dominique Xavier Taplin and Mackenzie Green. It was like a funk project, like, oh, we'll have these five songs, we need arrangements. And I was like, done, I'm gonna do them. I did those. And then I started reaching out for more. I finished that, I was like, hey, do you know anybody else that needs arrangements? And so I found myself all of a sudden doing a bunch of arrangements during the pandemic, because I wasn't playing gigs, and leaning more and learning more about string arrangements, doing transcriptions, kind of studying scores. At a certain point, I was like, all right, well, I'm, I'm like getting pretty good at this. I'm like working, doing all this other people's stuff. I should maybe try this orchestra thing again because I feel like my skill level has it. Like I've I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot, so maybe like I can actually do this thing now. So at a certain point, I'm working on all these arrangements, and I'm like, all right. Every day that you sit down to work on somebody else's stuff, you need to just sit down and instead of making some intimidating goals, like just write something, write anything. 